This is painted paper using recycled materials, very limited resources, reusing everything, repurpose, upcycle. We can make journals, we can paint the paper, cut it and put it in our badge a minute machine. So I have some stamps today. All I'm going to use is a magazine. Oops. A magazine for my tray. Some shiny paper, it doesn't matter. I even got some on my journal. I think I'm going to let that texture dry. That's okay. It's the layered look is in. I have some paint. I'm going to put a little out on my tray, which is my magazine cover. And you can tear that off and throw that away at the end. I could swipe the paint across the paper. I could stamp and make a pattern. You can find found objects. I found a Bath and Body Works uh, coupon. It works excellent for this. I have some paint. Um, we can stamp, like I said, drag. Pick colors that look good together. We can use old books. This is old books. If they're throwing those away, the pages, let them be in the faded background. So don't let it be too directional. Um, this is a paper towel tube I cut. Use it for stamping. We have some stamps with some words if you're going to do badge a minute. We have dream, create, enjoy, happiness. Usually we have a stamp pad. If you don't have a stamp pad, spread some thin paint out on your tray and make a stamp from it. This one says inspire. And just give a little nice thin layer of ink. In this case it's paint. And I will want to just juxtapose, I'm going to put the word inspire randomly in my painted paper. Put it throughout. I have some objects from nature for you today. You could get a fern leaf, which I have misplaced. I will grab another one. Okay, well, I will find fern leaf anyway. I stamped with the fern leaf and did it one time and another time. I put my fern leaf down. I had some ink on it from my paint tray. I pressed my leaf down and then I rubbed over it and I lifted it up. Sorry, I don't have that right now. Then we can take your badge a minute circle that you have, drop your image, cut it out, and we can make a button. Or we can take this paper and make journals with it. We can measure if you're making a journal later down the road. It's about a six by six journal. I'm gonna have five and a half inch paper. Five and a half inch paper. I'd measure that down, and then I like the torn look, so I would just tear it like this using a straight edge. And I could fold this paper and use it in my book like this. Oops. Torn paper, scrapbook paper. We need cereal boxes, cardboards, old credit cards, cracker boxes, uncrustable coupons anything and do not throw away any of your paper because we are going to make art from it.